Hi everybody, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and today is Thursday so I thought we would work on a nice little ice cream cone. We are still in uh, the summer season so why not, right? So let's go ahead and peel this off. By the way, uh, this is a collaboration with myself and Trisha Sweet Tea from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. And uh, this is our um, Off the Canvas Fun series that we're collaborating on. And Judy from Crafting with Judy has come back from her little hiatus and she is now joining us. So let's get to work on our ice cream cone. And how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. It is Thursday and I am okay with that. So this kit came with, this is the Art Doc Freestyle sticker kit and it came with 48 colors. Well, I was kitting down one of my kits the other day and I saw a couple of colors of drills that I hadn't, I don't have in my colors. And so I thought this would be a great uh, way to use some extra drills and incorporate them into my pictures. So this is a set. This is some of the drills that I got from another kit that I kitted down and I thought they would look cute for the cone, the waffle cone part of this ice cream. So, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it a little different. We're going to do the waffle cone but it's going to look a little bit more textured. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do in just a minute. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this here and we're going to put one there, but we're going to skip one and put one there. Then we're going to skip and put one there and there and there. Now that fills that portion. So now we're going to go ahead and start with the bottom portion. So we're going to go here and here, there, and here. And we're just going to do every other one. And this will be the waffle cone portion of our ice cream. There we go. Now, let me go ahead and put this back here. also have this terracotta color. Here we go. That's the one I wanted. So we're going to use this color to fill in the other portions of the waffle cone. So we'll start down here. We'll go here. I'm going to go here. Now, I try to, you know, come up with things that are different, you know, some different designs and stuff. This is a freestyle kit, so you can do it any way you choose. So this is the way I wanted to choose to do the waffle cone. Here we go. Because the waffle cones usually look, you know, textured like they have those little squares and uh, so I thought that would be neat if we did that with our cone. As a matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? 
we are going to do, 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 do. where are you there you are we're going to go ahead and do the entire outline as well why not right so we'll put one there one here there Here, 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 hold on, and here. Okay, I need more of these. Here we go. Then we'll go down here and here and then down there. There. And there. Okay, so that fills that in. And I know the A is supposed to be a dark color. Yes, I know. But that's all interpretation, in my opinion. I can do it any way that I like. And I like to put the light tan there. Will some of the black show through? Yes. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So, here we go. Because it's your world, you can color it any way you like. I like this. Let me just shake these drills up a little bit. Friends, what flavor ice cream do you like? Some people don't like ice cream. Some people like frozen yogurt. So what type of frozen yogurt do you like? What type of gelato do you like? There's so many different frozen treats out there. I like sometimes a nice sherbet myself. Look at that. Oh, that came out cute. Okay. See? Okay. So now, I think we're going to do... Well... I was going to say chocolate frost, a uh, chocolate ice cream. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's see if we have enough. I might not. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a vanilla and chocolate swirl ice cream. Let's try that. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try it. We'll see. Okay, so we'll work on the first, on the lower portion. I like to go right to left. I've always been a fan of vanilla ice cream, coffee ice cream, 
mint chocolate chip ice cream, chocolate peanut butter ice cream, and if I mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again, coffee ice cream. That's my favorite. Judy always enjoyed chocolate ice cream growing up. Whenever we used to go to the local little ice cream stand, Judy would always get chocolate ice cream with chocolate frosting. I mean chocolate sprinkles. I don't know why I call it frosting. Chocolate sprinkles. She would eat her ice cream and she used to wear more of it on uh, around her mouth than <laughs> I think she got in her belly. She would come up from that ice cream and her face was just covered. Her little mouth was just covered with chocolate ice cream. Oh my gosh, she was the cutest thing. Okay. So we're going to do a layer of vanilla and then a layer of chocolate. And then we'll do another layer of vanilla. may have to reload my pen. I used to like having vanilla ice cream with that strawberry dip or cherry dip or whatever they would call it. You could get it in either chocolate or cherry. Where they would dip the cone in that vat of melted whatever it was it was so good okay and then there will be another layer of chocolate and then the very tippy top I'm actually going to put a cherry on top of that so it will be a bright red cherry as a matter of fact where are my do I still have them out? no I did. That's okay. We'll do that in a minute. Now we're going to go ahead with a layer of chocolate. Hopefully I have enough drills. I should. And this again came from another kit. But I thought, oh, that would be fun to use. And it does look like a chocolate soft serve. Once in a while I would get a swirl. You know, the swirl with the chocolate and vanilla. It never bothered me if it was in a cup or if it was in uh, on a cone. I liked it either way. It was delicious either way. growing up ice cream if you went to the grocery store and bought a container of ice cream a half gallon of ice cream it came in a square paper you know cardboard container and the lid you know it would you'd always tear it when you went to go you know open it up <laughs> so it would never close right Oh, I have plenty of drills. Plenty of drills to do this, and if I needed it for another project, I could do it for another project, too. Yay. 
Oopsie. There we go. They come out with some crazy ice cream names though now though. Moose Track. Oh gosh, some of the, the names I don't know. I don't even know. They're crazy names. Moose Track comes to mind because that happens to be my husband's I think Moose Track or Bear Track. I don't know. But he doesn't have ice cream anymore. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and I, hang on, I have my bag of uh, rhinestones and I'm going to put a cherry on the top, but I want it to bling. So... We will go ahead and grab some really pretty cherry red rhinestones. Oh yes, those are really cherry red for sure. Ooh -wee. They're going to be pretty. Wait until you see these on here. That's cherry red, my friends. Look at that color. Okay. So we're going to put a cherry on the top. There we go. There. And now, I'm actually going to put cherry all around it. Why not? There we go. That's what I love about this set. You can do anything you want. And I get to re you know, get to continue to use some of the drills from other sets as well. I understand it's got 48 colors, but there's just some times where you just want to add something extra. So, we'll go ahead and put my rhinestones back into my bag. There we go. Now we'll go back into my... These are all red and pink rhinestones in here in different baggies. And then I have a whole bag full of green, a whole bag full of purple, blue, yellow, the whole rainbow. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our black to outline. Because why not, right? They gave us a ton of the black 310. So I might as well put it to good use. And hopefully I'm not running over that half hour mark. I'm filming this on a Saturday afternoon. We just got finished with our live, Judy and I. So. It's a beautiful day here in Tennessee in the 70s. Got a nice breeze going. Todd and I spent a majority of our morning after breakfast 
outside with Spoto on the back deck. Spoto ran around and chased the ball and Todd and I actually got a couple hours into diamond paint. So that was a lot of fun. And tomorrow, which is Sunday, it's supposed to be even cooler in the morning. So I plan on getting out there early with my coffee and my diamond painting. As soon as it's bright enough that I can see the diamond paint, I'm going to go out there and diamond paint. I don't get much of a chance during the week, so to have that opportunity to. And it's so nice because Spoto gets some fresh air, Todd and I get some fresh air, we get to sit on our back deck and enjoy the back deck. Well, there you go, friends. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Hang on for me while I go ahead and there we go. Just close that up and I'm going to put my other little there we go okay oh friends that came out so cute let me go ahead and pull you back there we go look at the bling of the cherry on top and we have our chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream in a waffle cone there we go awesome so friends oop <laughs> I would have cried if I dropped my ice cream <laughs> I want to thank you so much for stopping by please hop on over to diamond painting with sweet tea and crafting with Judy please like and subscribe to their channels and also please like comment subscribe on this channel I do appreciate it and until I see you all again thanks for stopping by and enjoying a little bit of ice cream with me and until tomorrow Friday I want to wish you a great day please take care and stay safe happy crafting God bless goodbye now